What's up, everybody? Welcome to Megabit. It's Monday at GameSpot. It's 11 a.m. on the West Coast. Max and McGee. I'm ready to play some Resident Evil. Wake up, Max. I'm ready. Here All we go. Right. Yeah, we're going to play Resident Evil on GameCube. This is a remake that Capcom did, part of their exclusive deal with Nintendo back in the day to support the GameCube. Didn't last very long. Resident Evil eventually came back to the PS2 with Resident Evil 4. Very true. Um, because Resident Evil 4 was just too dang popular. Too dang good. But we're going to jump into the game. Uh, this is one of the best looking games on the GameCube. And I love it. I haven't played it in a long time, though. Did you play this when it came out? Oh, my goodness. Are you talking about, like, original Resident Evil back in 96? The, Game the, the GameCube, GameCube remake, came yeah. Out to those no, I did not play the GameCube version. Sadly, never actually owned a GameCube. I had a, I had wow. a friend of mine, Tice, who owned a GameCube. And, of course, like everyone who owned a GameCube, he had Smash Brothers and a random Star Wars game that he yeah. maybe played, like, three or four times. All right. Sadly, no. So Resident you've never Evil played though. this before? I've not. Version? I mean, I've seen it, but I've, oh, I've not okay. actually played right. it. No. Well, okay. I mean, I'll... I've played original Resident Evil. No, yeah, 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 yeah. That. Well, the the way that they did the the graphics in this game are okay. amazing because pre-rendered backgrounds again. Yeah. All the polygon power went towards the character models. Polygon power. That yeah, trademarked. Yep. <laughs> me <laughs> restricted. Um. So okay, Jiller. I know. I know. I know. It's a big. Well, Chris looks you like get, a nerd in this don't game. Don't you get you get more? They, they haven't brought him out yet. What's the difference between the two characters? I remember one of them gets more ammo. I think Chris gets more Jill ammo. Has Jill has a taser, like a, and Chris has probably a knife. So let's go with Jill. All right. Look at that. Look how spooky that text is, <laughs> and that inner cap T on Valentine. <laughs> It's a good thing we have all these lights on in here. Alpha I know it's really good. Oh, let's let this point. I want to West Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? <sighs> Bravo <sighs> Team. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims families. were apparently <laughs> eaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. The Can chat we... is loving the decision play is Jill, by the way. Good. Save for the remaining. For once I've done something right in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Did you um do you remember the original opening? The original game? It was all well. First, it was all live it, action. It, it was all live action. CG nonsense. They had like intros for every character, where it would be like the name, like Wesker, and the actor would like turn around with his gun. <laughs> dun, 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 like, I'm Wesker. It's like some <laughs> '70s action show or something. <laughs> oh man, are we gonna see some Wesker in this intro? Some old school Wesker. I love this first. They got their cam. GoPro cams on, I know, the, on the so go. Good. I love how Jill's like eyes have no pigment whatsoever. <laughs> Watch out, dude. Phew, just a tree. Ah. Come on, Joseph. Come on, Joseph. <laughs> What's gonna happen? The suspense. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> oh hey, Wesker! Wesker sighting. I prefer like pre trench coat Wesker. So on the murder cam. But, but like pre Matrix Wesker, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Before he had magic zombie kung fu powers? Yeah. Oh, oh boy, I messed up. Jill's like, nope, I have uh, no feeling about this. like, I'm not really sure what's happening. Oh, sure. Am I scared? Am I oh, worried? Oh, it's a puppy. Oh. Puppy dog. I can't uh, shoot a puppy. Okay, wait, I should I'm shoot I'm going to go with scared. Okay, up. Oh. Quick, a mansion! <laughs> that one dog is the leader of the pack. Hey, Where the hell's he going? No. no! I'm gonna punch this dog! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Wesker. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't he with them, and then all of a sudden he was well, like twenty yards ahead of them? because he has zombie powers. I forgot. He's gonna sorry. tiger uppercut one of them. Tiger. In a <laughs> Remember that rumor that EGM put out in um, for Resident Evil Two, where you could find Akuma in like a cryo 
like oh chamber in the game and you could That's unlock so him. Good. I always wanted that to be true. And they had really good convincing like mocked up screenshots. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. How Somebody fancy. came in and waxed the floor right before you guys got here too. That's nice. All right, back to tank controls. It's been a long time oh, since I played this oh, game. Oh, hey, Barry. Barry. <laughs> Not quite your ordinary house. That's for sure. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> what, no, what was Hey, calling? Whisker, where's Chris? Java. Jill, no. <laughs> you don't want to go back out there. <laughs> but we've got to. And I don't want to move my mouth any more than <laughs> necessary. <Yeah. laughs> Chris. No. No. Go and investigate. Jesus. I'm going with her. Chris and I. You can call me Barry. <laughs> All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Oh, and these West graphics. He plays Wesker. I would love an HD port of this game. I think it's charming. No, I mean I like it as is. How everything is so I just, anti alias or Yeah, I mean you could run it on an emulator. Or and, just and, alias rather than anti Right, exactly. Yeah, if you run this on an emulator, you could apply all sorts of nice effects to it. A little bit of motion blur at times. Alright, it's just a dining table. <laughs> So is it the clock on the second story of this room that you can move? <laughs> oh no, don't ask me specific stuff. Oh, Max. <laughs> All my memories of the game are more like conceptual, <laughs> like feelings. They're not so much specific details on oh, how to do things. Not typewriters. It's an old typewriter. What's an old typewriter? I don't have a memory here? card, so no. I also don't have an ink ribbon, so <laughs> LOL, LOL. No, yeah, I just Peter picked one up. A memory card I just picked game, up an ink ribbon. So let's all make sure that I die. That he doesn't die, because otherwise <laughs> we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, if I die, I'll start over as Chris, right? Oh, there you go. Well, that'll give us I think you'd better take a look at this. one good do over. What is it? I think it's strawberry jam. <laughs> Somebody spoke ketchup all over the floor. Is it My ketchup? God, why would these or... monsters do this? <laughs> what if it's catsup? <laughs> Maybe some mustard. Maybe <laughs> you got sandwich. yourself a sandwich going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of sandwiches. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> I like how they actually gave Jill pants in this game. That's nice. Yeah. She's earned them. <laughs> how those tank controls doing for you? They're doing. They're doing. I'd, I'd, not, I'd like to not talk about it. <laughs> oh, man, just the, the shadows and the lighting in this game so fucking good. Excuse the language. <laughs> Pardon my French, but GD it. So good. Chris, is that you? Chris? Chris, I'm talking to you. Get off of that other dude. Barry found some clues. <laughs> you need some lotion, bro. Oh, man. Resident Evil it. scared the crap Do out it. of me when I Do was it. a kid. Do it. Get away from him. I remember playing this game... The original version with a friend Just at his house and being like, oh man, when I get a PlayStation, I'm mm -hmm. going to give me some Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. But I was like, nine? Barry. And then when I finally got the game and tried playing on my own, I was like, nope, can't do this. Nope, <laughs> nope can't handle. Need a buddy. <laughs> Let me take care of it. My name is Barry. Oh, get him, Barry. Oh, Barry. Way to man up. I like that. I know he shot him twice and he was like, <laughs> I got to aim real carefully for this last one. It would have been cool if he'd pulled like a... Like a like an ocelot thing? Oh, yeah. For Metal Gear? You want to like twirl his gun around? <laughs> wow! <laughs> and then a whole bunch of other berries like come out of the woodwork. All right, a let's... berry never lets his prey escape. <laughs> Better report back to... Oh, you're right. I should. Shouldn't I? So did you find another clue when you found that Zambies? <laughs> I'm telling you, one of these clocks can move. Do you know who is really good at Resident Evil is uh, Francis. Really? One of the community people, the social team. She basically she it was the master of tank control. Well, it was the only game that she had on PlayStation for years. Oh, okay. So she is a like we played the DualShock director's cut version on uh, like a 24-hour stream a few mm -hmm. months back, and she basically played two hours straight doing everything like she just like knows, like point like, to point to there, point there, exactly there, where there, to go. There, yeah, there. Was, move that yeah. secret behind there. It was great. And I never, I know she liked Street Fighter, but I never seen her really like play games before. So like, I knew she liked games, but it was just crazy to see that in action. To see, <laughs> see how good she was. To see her true abilities. Yeah. Power level. All right. Do 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 do. 
Oh wait, can I? No. Oh, right. Don't I have to just like go walk around for a while. Go the way you're supposed. Yes. Yeah, search the. Go up the stairs. Does he have useful advice? God damn it. Look how useful. I'm not a tank. Right <laughs> I'm a. I'm a real person. Maybe Wesker's over here. No. Hmm. No, that's still just the door. If only we had radios and could communicate <laughs> with one another. I mean, these GoPro cams are nice and all, yeah. but... <laughs> Why did the department spend all their money on these GoPro cams? I told them it was a bad idea. I told We, we still don't have walkie-talkies. Well, Wesker's got that thing in his ear. I guess he was the only one who brought one. Yeah. His, like, Bluetooth PC headset. Oh, man, as a tank, I'm not so good. <laughs> so then, wait, if you play as... Oh, and those reflections. Oh, look at that. Reflections! That's a 2002 tech right there. Dude. There's no way they had that in 96. Ah, oh, this is, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. So good. It's so great seeing just fixed camera angles again. <laughs> I kind of like it, man. My I, old friend fixed camera I dig angle. it. I don't, I don't see why, just because we can do something that's technically better, that this is then a bad way to design a game. I think it just, you know, it, it has its, its weaknesses, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, you can't really see what's coming. Which you also can't see has what's coming, and you, you don't <laughs> really have very. very. Well, Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's I would have told you, asshole. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and Any luck? Wesker. Yeah, I found I found Wesker. There's not yeah. much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate. Oh yeah, let's split up. That's always a good uh -huh. idea. I'll try the door on the other side. Cool. Uh, let's meet back here at some point. Could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Why? Because Jill's a master of unlocking. <laughs> but Barry just... Thanks. He just like has a lockpick, but for no Listen, real reason. You can't use something it. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Yeah, you know, if well, something happens okay. on the third floor, yeah. like halfway down just the house. Just meet up in the hall. Just make sure that, just yeah. Just make sure you carry yourself down, back down to the hall. And uh, I'll, I'll just assume that something happened and show up. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> It'll be good. Yeah, if you get hurt, come back down to the hall, and then maybe, like, if I get hurt too, or a couple hours go by, yeah, you know. or whatever, yeah. I'll Let's, come back down eventually. We'll play it by ear. Yeah, we'll just play it by ear. Get that uh, thing, get that spark. No, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. I need to go maybe become a sandwich, I think. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't have very good... Uh, there's no... What am I trying to say? Like fluid movement between the different shots. Okay, I got it. So like, if you want to have a high, like some, like a high speed third person action shooter game, right? Having like those Dino Crisis Three, angles, yeah. <laughs> then you're constantly like <laughs> just running through to different shots, rapid fire, and having to reorient yourself over and over again. Yeah, oh man, you I was so excited water. to get Dino Crisis Three back. You were, you were super hyped about ordering like, Dino. Because I had played like ten minutes of it, and I was like, jetpack. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs space. in space. Like Jet what's packs. not what's not to love, right? It's got everything. Oh man, but that game also has everything in terms of problems, <laughs> such as infinitely responding enemies. Jill, <laughs> look, I need you to. <laughs> this is what you want me to do, right? Come on, Jill. Come on, come on, come sweetheart. on, Jill. You can do it. She really doesn't want to get off. You can do it. Just hop table. off of there. Just hop off of there. There you go. There you go. She's a real sweet girl. Just kind of confused a lot of the time. How do I push this? Why won't it let me push it? No, nope. damn it. All right, I'm going to the menu. Yeah, that's what I thought, but it's not. Hmm. Because I need to get to, I need to push it to get the thing, right? You know, Peter, in honor of the Game Boy turning 25, we yep. could have been playing the Game Boy version oh, no. of Resident Evil today. No, we shouldn't have. Okay, <laughs> you got there we it. go. You there got we go. It. Man. Imagine. First off, how do we even... Because there's no way oh, you can this. get video out of an original Game Boy. Yeah. So oh, have Max. To oh, Max. Oh, Max. Ye, the ye of little knowledge. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> you could get the Super Boy. The Super Game Boy. And plug it into your Retron, I guess. Yeah, or, come on. Or, or into the Super Nintendo. No, there's another better option. What's the, no, I would do One that retro. involves component video. Oh, what? You could, you could, could you plug it into the GameCube? You could plug it into the GameCube. How could, tell me about it. Tell me about it. What was, what was the thing you needed? The Game Boy player. 
Was there like a special like, yeah, device? It, it slapped onto the bottom. Uh, oh no, it did, didn't it? Yes, okay, I remember this now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, but you gotta get this old boy. Remember, be like Barry. Damn it. Be like Barry, hit I all can't. the buttons. My name is Jill. Oh, you lost your knife. No, I got infinite knives. Oh, you stabbed him in the face. Well, he's kind of a jerk. All right, yeah, get some space, get some space. Little did Jill know that years later she would be able to shoot zombies in the knee and then do Matrix Kung, kung Fu moves to somersault kick in the head. Like, I don't believe he's dead? Probably not. Yeah, he's, he's very much alive. Just make sure you aim for the head. Just make sure I run out of bullets as soon as possible. Can you step on them once they're down? Sort of yeah, the first time? but I don't know the... I guess I would have to... Get your knife back. I still got my knife. Wait. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, but how do I... I have to... Okay, wait, oh, okay. The door with the sword, right? Isn't that this door? It's an emblem of a sword. Hmm. I'm sure people in the chat are yelling at me right now. I don't know. They got nothing? Well, they haven't caught up yet. The chat's a little bit behind. Oh. Right I feel like, there, isn't there a button there? No. Yeah, you were talking about your setup and playing survival horror games. I feel like we all had our own special little setup. Like, when you were sitting down to play a horror game, you went through certain rituals yeah. to make it especially spooky. I make sure to just void my bowels. <laughs> void your bowels ahead of time. Usually go down to the basement, if applicable. Um, that's uh, what yeah. I did. I would play down in the, uh, in the basement. Down in the depths. We had an old musty recliner chair and a bunch of house plants that we would keep down there, and I'd surround myself with the house plants and the chair. Like on the, on the couch. I'm in like the video game jungle. All right. Barry, something Cold. happened. Where are you, Barry? I know. We Barry. were supposed to meet back in the lobby, Barry. You said. <laughs> Why go can't down I there? Can you door? go down there? Oh, okay, here we go. Yep, here we go back again. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to be able to push the table. But when I'm You did. But I need to be able to push it, like, forward. What if you just shot the statue? I don't think that's... Or that probably works. only works in Resident Evil 4 and 5. Shoot the thing to knock the thing down. Come on, just push it a little bit, Jill. Oh I'm God. worried you're going to push it all the way. Oh, she's pushing it all the way, isn't she? Come on, what, what, the chat's got no advice for us? Well, let's see. Here we go. Oh, look at you. Look it's at just, you. They made it really hard. This game came out back in 96. When developers didn't want you to be able to get through certain things, just easy breezy. There's the map. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if I want the map. Take it. <laughs> Go. All right. So the room what crushes me. <laughs> it's good to know ahead of time. You got the map. What? There's no Game Boy Guide for Resident Evil on Game Facts. Oh man. So disappointing. Get on that guide editor that we don't have anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be me. <laughs> Get on that past me. Yeah. Maybe I can use the... It's not necessary. Well, whatever then. Screw you. But I didn't I just pick up the sword? Or did I get the dagger? Is that what I got? Yeah, I got the... Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Entering, Barry finds a pool of blood, examine the stuff. Uh, room with the fireplace. You find the zombie and there's a cutscene. Run back to Barry. Main hall, Wesker's gone. But Barry, why were you here? Okay, go back to the main room. Um, the lobby? And you, oh, no, 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 this is pushing the dresser up to the statue. We did that. Okay, hop on okay. the statue, grab the object. You've now discovered some map of the first floor. Take it. Now go back to the room. 
that the dresser was previously covering. Walk all the way to the back. Um, once you do this, a zombie will corner you, try to escape. Uh, and sounds like you should get the sword key after that, I, that fight is concluded. And I got the sword key, didn't oh, I? Oh, okay. Or maybe the zombie prevented me from doing yeah, so. Yeah, maybe it's like on the floor back there. No, get, come on. Come on. That zombie That's gets saying. up every time you leave the room, by the way, and pushes that dresser back over there. <laughs> <that wall>. My <laughs> OCD. <laughs> Various art supplies. Yay. Okay, I feel like in my inventory, if I go up to file, no. Cause I got the, I got the thing. Oh, the daggers are limited use. Okay, but then you have a knife that you can use. Oh yeah. Can you tell? It's been a while since I've played. <laughs> Low the mini mysteries. Okay, so what does it say though? What, what, I, what am I supposed to do? Okay. When, I, when I have the sword key, then okay. What? Uh, go back to the main room, then into the main hall. Right. Okay. Um, then go into the dining room. Ah. Uh. And then and then from the dining room, go into the room where you met the first zombie. Right. Uh, right. 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 And you, you will find the mangled corpse of poor Kenneth. Oh, uh, god damn it, Kenneth. <laughs> You know, really, I told him to be careful so many times. It's kind of it's his fault. Yeah, really, it's your fault. Yeah, neglectful Kenneth. That's what, That's what they always called him. That's what they'll put on his tombstone. <laughs> Would be on Jill's tombstone. God's favorite sandwich. Here lies Jill. Jill Valentine. May she rest between two slices of sourdough. <laughs> Sauerkraut and Swiss cheese. I feel like there's probably so many good Jill Valentine lines in Resident Evil 3, since yep. she was the star of the show, that we're probably not taking into account here. Now, really? Th this old boy might still be wandering around somewhere, so just be on the lookout for that. Give me your shit, Kenneth. Kenneth does not want that tape getting out. Why did Kenneth bring the VHS tape with him Unless, it, are your GoPros like transmitting to some sort of VHS like tape recorder? You have like a VCR strapped to your back that <laughs> yeah. the GoPro's going into and then riding onto these VHS tapes? Eh. Uh, eh. Okay. You can stab this on. I'm prepared. <laughs> Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Also, watch out for lamps. <laughs> okay, Jill, I need you to be like on your game here. Can't die halfway into the stream. Although maybe that's the right time to die halfway into the stream. I don't know. <laughs> we can get lost on the on the Chris side of things. I'm just gonna look at this image real quick. Look at that. This is such a good like. That's really good. What a good setup for it's what really the good. hell lies ahead of me. Oh, this game. So good. Look at that. I know. Like. Look at that. The lighting. The just. Look at that. Come like, on. Just the slight. Off angle of the Come camera. On. Because everything here is just slightly off. What the hell happened? First of all, here's a giant ass bird cage. <laughs> yes, thank yes. you. Thank God. That's your only one. Use it well. Yeah, I just want an HD port of this. Uh, whatever, I'll just play it in an emulator. That's fine. Yeah, I'll take the herbs. I also love how this game doesn't have like little sparklies everywhere. Like, you can use beep this. Beep boop, beep boop. You hey, can pick use this. this up. Hey, hey, pick hey, this up. Hey, listen. Hey. Look over here. This is where the fun is. Oh, thank you, game. Thanks. I'm so glad you're playing me. <laughs> hmm. Joe can hold only eight items. Be cautious about what you take. I won't combine it just yet. Oh, is that is that she's got a smaller um, satchel? Oh, I, I think it's no, I, maybe I, the same. I feel thing. like there's something about that though. The differences are, are well, seemingly small up mm -hmm. front, but they but they end up having a huge impact, impact later on when you really need to be taking those herbs with you, but you yeah. also need to take those bullets. Who's got the herb? Am I right? <laughs> uh, Four twenty joke. All right, this guy's a jerk, and he's gonna stand up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Also, I feel like it's pretty dangerous in an old mansion like this to have open flames as your main source of light. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's locked from the other side. Uh, yeah, go check it out. What if I just don't want to? What if you Oh, there's to? a zombie. There's a zombie. <laughs> I can see him in the mirror. You see him in the mirror? <laughs> oh! Holy cow! Yeah, there is! A silhouette of a zombie back there in the mirror. Oh, but he wasn't really paying attention. He's looking at his own reflection. What a diva! I, oh, yeah. You might be a zombie, baby, but you still got it. <laughs> I do love examining things in this game, and it's also part of the thing. Like, it's kind of crucial. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. Can you give an example? I don't think you can do anything with the arrow, but there are certain things where you examine it and there's like, there's a button, you wanna push it? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, I there did you it. Go. Look at that. Look what I just did. Solving puzzles. Oh, magazine. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, come here often? There's totally a dude there. Get him, get him, get him, stab that dude. Come on, oh, Jill. Shove Come him. on, Jill. Give him the shove. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, oh, dude. Bullshit. Dude, the guy's wrecking you. It's a good thing I did not combine those herbs. I feel like this is the door I want to go into. I also feel like... Oh, damn it. Just, just... I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to use the other one. Mm -hmm. Safe and sorry. I can't save fine. my game. You're fine. All right, I guess you're fine now. Get over it. Yeah, sure, you're fine. Oh man. Chad really wants an HD remake as well. I really want an HD remake as well. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh god. Just, no! <laughs> oh! Okay, wait, this thing is shiny. Okay, some things are shiny, I take that back. And I guess it's helpful that they're shiny. Thanks, game. I feel like I want to turn right back around and just go back in. Is it going to tell me it's locked? Okay, good. Are there any lock like doors that lock automatically when you pass through them? Uh, I imagine probably during like boss encounters and stuff. Oh, it's a statue that I push. Oh, I'm touching my statue! I wanted that there. You can't have her. She's with me. game of chicken you're playing with this guy. Nice. What? Why, why did you fire off another round? It takes her a while. There you go. There, 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 there. Now, can you step on him? Can you step on him? Dead check. Deadness check. Oh god. Come on. There you go. What an asshole. What a oh, I get no respect. Butt sandwich. What the? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, laugh it up. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Line it up. There you go. It's not even a big deal. You've got to be dead. You're not Thank Superman you. in this game. Like, at least let me get my freaking dagger. There, there, he bled out. Now you know he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the bleed out. There's a dead sandwich. <laughs> you totally gonna jack this dude's statue? Man, what it? He was a dick. He was kind of a dick. And, like, I, I know he's dead now. Yeah. Like, for real, for dead. But I hope his zombie ghost sees this. Hey. All right, guys, uh, I just pushed the statue down. And you know what that means. Oh, is it time for a break? It's time for a commercial break. It can only mean one thing. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oh, they turned the music off. Oh, oh. No, it's still going. Okay, okay. Peter discovered something amazing while you guys are gone. Let's cut to, let's go to the game feed here and check out Jill's sweet foot action she's got going on. Oh, look at those moves. Look at those sweet moves. She's a DDR champ, that Jill Valentine. She can get triple A perfect <laughs> on max 300. All right. Without even breaking sweat. 
Uh, oh wait, oh, this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, I love it. This is fun. Stop the music. It's fun. You're ruining the mood. <laughs> Back to being scared. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So there's a jewel down there. Jewel sand. It's locked. An emblem of a sword. I get it. I need a freaking sword key. Freaking frack. I don't know if it's a good decision or not. I guess we're about to find out. Wait. Okay, this is where I came from. Yes. Go. Stop you turning never, you all You never the time. actually checked this door, though, so. Oh, of course it is. It is locked from the LOL, outside. LOL, LOL, LOL. So, Peter, uh, were you introduced to the Resident Evil series through the first game? Like, did yeah. you start at the very No, game? that's what I was saying, yeah. My okay. buddy had a PlayStation before me, and he, uh, he had the original Resident Evil, and I used to play it, watch him play it, actually, mm -hmm. at his house. And then when it came time to where I finally could get a PlayStation, I got that, I got the original Resident Evil and uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy for PlayStation. And I scared the shit out of myself. <laughs> I ended up returning the PlayStation because I couldn't play Resident Evil alone. And I found <laughs> oh, wow. that so disappointing because I really oh, wanted wow. to play something new. So I returned it and got a Nintendo 64 okay. and played uh, Super Mario 64, obviously. Yes. And Bomberman 64. Definitely play that by yourself. Bomberman 64 is a game I played the shit out of. There was no, I'm literally no, there was no shit left in that game. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually wasn't introduced to the Resident Evil series until Resident Evil 3. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I was pretty late to the party. Um, probably because I didn't, gosh, I didn't own a PlayStation until well after it had already come out. Um, but I also, there was a, there was a very strict no M-rated games. In hmm. the McGee household, hmm. no first-person shooters, no M-rated games. So I was. I'm so sorry. Disallowed from such things, but oh, I, had, I had a cousin. It's always the cousin. Yep, I had a cousin. It's always the cousin who didn't give any f's about any of that, and he owned Resident Evil Three. Um, and so when I would go and visit him, I would totally, I would totally play his copy of Resident Evil Three. That game changed up so many things with the whole nemesis mechanic. Oh yeah. Where you could you couldn't just explore really nilly because it was like oh there's a big dude. Oh there he is. But that was really good though, because I remember that game scared the bejesus out of me just because, just because of the nemesis and always feeling hunted and pursued. Because yeah. the nemesis was basically this big, if you guys haven't played Resident Evil 3, he was like this big super zombie in a black trench coat <laughs> who sometimes had a rocket launcher, sometimes yeah. he didn't. Yeah. Um, but he would, he would appear both at set points during the story and then just randomly as you were out exploring. Yeah. Um, and when he did appear, like he was way stronger than you way were, faster. way faster. Um, you could, if you wanted to spend like all of your bullets, you could you could temporarily disable him. Like you could actually God. shoot him down, and he would blah, he'd fall over. But eventually, he'd get back up again and start chasing you. So it was really a tremendous waste to do that. So you basically just had to run away from him all the time. All right, um, Max. And he had like this deep, like growling voice. You could always hear him coming. Or you hear him like stomping <laughs> around. You're like, oh crap. Okay, you like the nemesis, but I need instructions here. Okay, hold on, let me go Help back. Me out. To... Okay, okay. So you got the arrowhead, right? Got the arrowhead. Uh, examine the arrow. Uh, the arrowhead can be removed. You have the arrowhead. Uh, you need to eventually where you want to get to is the upstairs dining room, but it's okay. So it's... so I was there. Okay, go back to the upstairs dining room. Investigate the ledge. Uh, find another defense dagger, which you did. Run around the opposite side and see the zombie. You killed it. Yeah. Um, you pushed off the statue. And get the blue yeah. gem. Yeah, okay. It's time to break stuff. Push the statue. Run back downstairs. Yep. For now, exit dining room, second floor through the double doors. Okay, come okay. on. Keep up with me, guide. <laughs> Once outside, run downstairs? Run back down to the first set of stairs and look closely at the wall. Do you notice an inconsistency? There's a small notch on the wall. Do they mean up here? And that is the entrance to the graveyard. I feel like that's here. Yeah. And it has a picture of a gravestone on it. We're gonna go do some tomb robbing. It does say once outside, run down the stairs, which I think. Cause, oh, you got that, okay, you got that part. All right, I wanna avoid the zombie. Yeah, there's totally a zombie there. And there's going to be a place where you use the arrowhead here in the graveyard. So that is your next challenge. But the Nemesis is great, guys. Resident Evil 3. It's super spooky. I totally figured it out. Like, right away. I 
feel like I should have been a sandwich by now. <laughs> Little known fact, zombies don't know what stairs are. They don't. Look at this, look at this shit. Look at this! So good. So good. Yeah, okay. Because who wouldn't have this underneath their house? Oh, good. sure. I'm yep. sure not going to do anything with that. Why not? Go examine that wall back there. Back here? Yeah, maybe, maybe there's something there. Look at that dude. That's where his eyes should be. <laughs> that one's the happy statue. Hey, everyone needs something. Wait, so any second this thing's gonna fall? Is that what I was trying to say? No. Where could it lead? There should be a glistening object in this room. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh yeah, yep. Book of Curse. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I've been looking for one of these. Got it. Got it. The Book of Curse is very long. Spoiler alert. Hmm, so there's a missing mask, is that? There's a lot of missing stuff. <laughs> but there, there are, the four masks are there. Is it that they need to be moved somehow? The guy says just once you have the, the key from the Book of Curse. GTFO? Yeah, just GTFO. The Book of Curse. It's like the Word of Curse. <sighs> but yeah, you're gonna go back to the mansion and you're gonna use the key to open one of the doors. As a kid, I also never really got understood the art of avoiding combat. <laughs> oh yeah, and I would just die. Oh yeah, all the time. I mean, if, there, I if, no if there's an enemy on the screen, you're supposed to fight it. Well, I would just get so freaked out, I'd be like, ah, that's <laughs> my only reaction. You know, murder. <laughs> um, okay. Just shoot it, Toad's dead. Where am I going with this key? Back to the dining room? Uh, it's somewhere in the main hallway. The main hallway. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, it just says go to the closer door on the left side of the hallway. Closer door. Not that one. Yeah, it's just the dining room over here. Maybe it means up top? Maybe. I guess if you could use the key to open it, it would do it on map here. Right? So that's the dining room. It would, yeah. Any chat advice? Let you know. Hey! hey. <laughs> I think we did that in unison. <laughs> Yay! Knick and axe. Knickknack, knickknack. Okay, this is the. Do it, no. do it, do it, do it. I can't just. It's gonna get you. Hugs, incoming. And. Oh my God. There Whoa! we go. Whoa! Party time. Eat a bee. Oh! 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 The game will not let you enjoy your victories. Nice, nice avoidance. Let me find the armor key. 
I wonder if these people hate living in this mansion. <laughs> just like, where did you put the key this time, Billy? I'm just I'm trying to get. I'll to never the, tell. I'm just trying to get to the dining room. I'm hungry. I don't want to have to go out to the graveyard just so I can get to our dining room. I hate living in this mansion. Dude, I need some herbs. Weasel, yeah. The let me, weasel? Let me call some dogs weasel. real quick. Are you take? Are you? Oh wow, we're taking all this in. All right. John Tolman. Taking a real toll on me, John. Yep. Hey. Bullets. Somewhere Barry's picking up an herb right now and being like, oh, why would I want to carry this uh, Oh, well. <laughs> what is this, a, some basil leaf? I don't need this. <laughs> Cilantro. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I mean, this book of herbs would be great if it had like a sample. Somebody of herbs had like in it. pressed a few herbs in it. And Jill's like, I'm not doing so <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, I'm a liver. Or possibly kidneys. Oh. Got real spry there all of a sudden. Oh, zombies can now. He's gonna he's gonna corner you in, dude. There you go. There you go. There you go. Duck and weave. Oh no! Oh, uh, puked. Oh, he was gonna puke on you. Uh. Oh yeah. So this is the this is the room where you get stuck, right? Ah, uh, that seems to be what the game is implying. Oh man. Nope. Not Peter, yet. do you know anything about Resident Evil Seven? No. No. I'm Sorry. pretty sure. You don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that game. It'll probably be gonna, a game at some point. But pro maybe probably not a us. Facebook game. Yeah, free to play Facebook game yeah. with mobile. <laughs> fucking. You can buy herbs. Yeah, it's got second screen functionality. Your Facebook dollars. Oh, there you go. There we go. It's a good room. This is a room where I become a sandwich artist. <laughs> Wait, no? Wait, I thought that was the one. False sense of security. Maybe that you'll have to double back through it, and then the game will spring the trap on you. Yes, I think you're right, actually. Scroll back in the chat wants to know what you think of Evil Within so far. Have you seen Evil Within yet? Yeah, I've seen uh, two different sections of the game. Seen. I saw a trailer for it once. That was really about it. And the trailer was really weird. So I don't have much of an opinion of the game yet. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I actually... I'm more interested in the game now than I was at E3. At E3, it had a very like weird B-movie kind of tone to it. Okay. Uh, but the last two demos that I saw at PAX East uh, took place, like one in like, an urban environment and then another one... Um, uh, was was inside that sort of dank like sanitarium place that they showed. Okay. I need to interrupt the story real quick. Don't I need that shotgun? I feel like there's no reason why you wouldn't want to take the shotgun. But I need everything else in my inventory. Oh. I mean, I don't think you need the shotgun in so much as you need it to solve a puzzle. I thought you needed it in this room. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think the Evil Within looks good. I think from what I've seen, which is very limited, so I have to take the shotgun to become a sandwich. That's true. All right, sandwich. You time. do have to be. You have to. You have to take the shotgun and become a sandwich. There are okay. item chests, though. Yeah, but I guess maybe I can turn around. Maybe there's one around the corner. Uh, Evil Within looks good. I think it's doing interesting things that sort of slows the pace down. It's there's some action like in Resident Evil, you know, like five and yeah. six, but it's not as like it's toned down. You mean you don't have mass zombie killing kung fu action? No, it's it's more like this game where you you do kind of like, like slow, kind of like you know calculated things. 
Ugh. Can I just ditch anything? Like, do I do I still need the mansion key? Yes. I still need the whistle. With the lighter. <laughs> I can combine ink with the lighter. Can you get rid of your ink ribbons? It's not like you're going to use them. That's true. I could. I'm just going to see. I feel like there's going to be a storage chest around the corner. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the evil within. I I hope the story isn't too ridiculous because it supposedly you know like takes place like in your mind or whatever. I don't know. So dogs are gonna jump through these windows. No. <laughs> well, well the, don't call it out. I thought this was the the room with the, the dogs happen. in the windows. I'm preparing myself mentally, Max. Mentally. Mentally. People in the chat are pointing out that you should totally dump your ink ribbons. All right, taking a big old ink dump. Ink dump. How? <laughs> <laughs> I do not want this thing. Just go away. Maybe examine it? And then does it give you the option? No, it doesn't. To be used with a typewriter. Thank you, game. Dude, I'm going to die so soon. There is definitely a zombie in here, too. Most deaf? Yeah, I'm going to see what it says about this gross water. Yeah. OK, there's going to be something in here I need. And you're not going to be able to carry it. <laughs> I am going to shoot it because I've only got about 10 more minutes left to stream. Oh, he fell down. Get him, Jill! I'd really like to. She's like, ew, ew. Still quit touching my leg! She literally bashed his brains out. It would be, it would be really gross in there. She goes in to throw up, and then, like, another zombie dramatically <laughs> claws its way out of the toilet. It doesn't look... It's because you puked in it, Jill. Because you did. You kind of puked all over That's it's why it doesn't hard. look good. Hey, thingamajig. Looks it's like another one of those daggers. It's a dagger. Yep. Head dagger. <sighs> Man, I really need to figure out how to get a shotgun. Looks like the water works still. Look, since we're almost done, just go into the room, shoot all of your bullets, and then take the shotgun. But that won't even, I still won't have enough room left. You'll I need to free up two slots, because the shotgun is like a big one. Isn't it? That's not how this works. That's only if you're having to do the attache case which you don't have in this game. It just takes up a slot. Everything just takes up a slot. OK. Uh, I'm going to go down this hallway first. OK. <laughs> Do it. Oh, you're back. Oh, look at all this then. Hmm. Oh, so good. Something's going to happen. It's cool. I'm prepared. Ah, uh, yes. Check it. I mean, you're here. This is the one with the dog. Good, good, good music swell on that. Oh! Do you think he's still down for the count? No, I ain't gonna kick him. You gonna go fight those dogs? Yeah, I'm gonna fight the dogs. Dude, fight those dogs. Get those Zambi dogs. I hope they break through the window. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally not even pointing at that dog. Yep, get him. Oh, oh no, Jill, defend yourself! Oh, stab him! J oh, wow. Kind of stab the Jesus out of that dog. Get him, get him! That's some good dog shooting. I gotta steal this precious china. I'm gonna get mint on this on eBay. I remember really odd things to do in this game. But I don't remember what to actually do. <laughs> I'm 
going to leave that one there. Whew. People really want to see the Jill sandwich. I really want to see the Jill sandwich. I'm getting really excited about Jill sandwich. Master of unlocking. <laughs> All right, I'll definitely do the Jill sandwich as long as I don't die in this room. Uh, I'm no, I'm not doing this. Not right doing now. this. All right. Well, no, wait, there's probably an herb in there. If oh. you start thinking like that, them's dying words. Them's dying words. I don't know. What do you then think? Then you're never gonna get yourself crushed to death in a room. Do I do I look for an herb? No, you go Jill sandwich. Go Jill sandwich. All right. Just gonna waste my ammo. Yeah. Forty bullets. So many bullets to go through. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I could try to find you an item. Oh no, I just closed it. Oh. All right, hold on. Okay, but which way is the room? It's back this way. I have no idea. It's this door, right? Yes. I think. I'm just gonna waste all my bullets, man. You do what you have to. Man. I'll I'll do what I need to. Nope. That's where I threw up. Right. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Ruin these paintings. <laughs> They're called frescoes. <laughs> Letting off steam. Yeah. Just a lot of stress built up. The zombie apocalypse is happening in the home. Everything's all keys and key locks <laughs> and jade arrowheads and it doesn't make any damn sense. I was training for the special forces. What is this crap? <laughs> All they do is they give us these stupid GoPro cameras and these VCRs. <laughs> we have to lug around and we don't have walkie talkies. And Wesker left to go do his own thing and be way cooler than everybody else. I get stuck with Barry. And Barry says to meet up in the hallway if something happens. <laughs> All the, everything that's happened is a something. What does that even mean? There you go. What am I even saying what right now? What am I even saying right now? Yes. The shotting gun. This is really why we chose this game, is just to get to the sandwich. <laughs> just to have this part happen. Let's be honest. <gasps> What's that rumbling? I shouldn't have eaten that sandwich. <laughs> uh oh. Quick, act like you're gonna try to save Do yourself. Do something. Do something. Pretend to save yourself. Do something. Oh, the oh, one open. Open. Joe, what, what are you gonna do? What about over here? What are you gonna do? What is this what one do? What are you gonna do? Pull on the candles. Maybe oh no! It's a secret thing. Maybe oh, if no, I shoot the, the wall. Open. Maybe if I shoot it. Shoot it. No. Just shoot it. No. Peter, you gotta do something. I'm doing all the save things. Save yourself. Save yourself. Oh. The door won't open. What did I do now? Wesker, oh, it's back up there. <laughs> Jill, you in there? <laughs> what is he doing? Get me out of here. The door's jammed. <laughs> and I also Stand fell down. Yeah. <laughs> this is why Barry didn't take the lockpick, by the way. <laughs> grab my hand. How about you just grab her hand? God, give me your <laughs> orders. She still has to do all the work. She's so stressed out. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> it's because yeah, it's, uh, uh, you're down <laughs> below. This is immersive gameplay design 101 right here. It's so good. I see the... The count jumped up for the oh, Jill yeah, sandwich. Oh, yeah, for the Jill sandwich. Close People one. knew it was coming. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. What? Uh. <laughs> what was that, Barry? Gross, Barry. What was that? What you would have fit nicely <laughs> into a sandwich? I'm glad no. What is it, like a <laughs> Subway foot long? What kind of sandwich are you eating? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, uh, basically, he's saying, I had to poop. <laughs> I, I'll go check on that thing now. I just gotta go check on that paperwork I was I was filling out. I owe you one. Do we have to split up again, Barry? Uh, yeah. 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 He's all like gassy. Oh man. Oh, could have right. fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs>
What do I do after the sandwich? Can we do that? Is there anything you can get any direction? Uh, in three minutes, what can you do? I, 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 I don't know. I don't have any direction for you. Except okay. The only thing I would lead you to is try to get you to the item box, but you don't need that anymore. I would like to die. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, this dude, yeah, this dude gobble you up. All right. Oh, no. Oh, damn oh, wow. it, Jill. Stop fighting for your life. Just give in. There you go. Oh. That did not take long. Blood. You are dead. And that concludes this week's episode of Megabit. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we'll be back next week. I think we're going to play Jurassic Park on the oh. Sega Genesis. Oh, that game was fantastic. Yeah, we're going to bring a few of us in here because a lot of us have really fond memories of that game. A lot of people have been asking for it in the chat, so we're going to ask what you guys wanted for. I don't know yep. what I'm saying here. Uh, <laughs> you guys wanted it. We're bringing it to you. Uh, check back with uh, GameSpot then. tomorrow. We're going to have the lobby. Yep, lobby, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah, lots right of here exciting on stuff there. Along with what? Oh, yeah, Multiple Players comes on today at 2 p.m. as well. Yeah. Later and today, so stay tuned. Yeah. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you on Megabit next Monday. Adios. Adios.